Okay, so this is an explanation of the owl pellet dissection. Um, in this lab, you're going to do a virtual dissection. Um, if you didn't read what an owl pellet was, um, after an owl eats a small rodent, birds, bugs, um, that are part of its nightly diet, its stomach cannot digest fur, bones, teeth, feathers, and insect shells from that food. These extra parts are formed into a tight pellet inside the owl and are later spit up by the owl. So it's a little ball of hair with a bunch of bones in it. It's kind of gross, but it throws it up every night. So I'm going to pick an owl. Uh, I'm going to pick this guy right here. Um, he's going to throw up his owl pellet. Great. Thanks, owl. And what you're going to do is you are going to pick apart this owl pellet using the tweezers. So I'm just going to pick these apart. And then you're going to take the bones and put them in your inventory. So I'm going to just save some time right here. So as you can see, I've cleared away all the fur and then I put all of the bones into the inventory. And once you do that, it's going to pull up the some skeletons of a few different animals. And what you're going to figure out is what animal did this owl eat last night based on the bones. So here I'm looking at the seagull and this guy kind of looks like this. And so what I do is I take it and I match those bones to the pieces that I see on the skeleton they give me. So, okay, and hip bone. So I can see that this owl last night ate a seagull. And so then I can find out some more information about it if I click through these little dots. Okay, I can see for winter, the winter England population moved south to Cuba. And it'll help you figure out where this owl is as well. So then I'm going to move through a couple of other things. Maybe this mouse is a common one. I can see the jawbone matches, and I can see a small leg bone. And I can also see that this skull bone matches. It is a mouse. So, and they're everywhere. So that didn't help out too much about the location. Um, let's check out Shrew. It looks like this skull bone does belong. I have a shoulder bone, a large leg bone, and a jaw bone. So we did eat a shrew. Um, didn't get too much more information on that one. So now that I have found all these different animals that the, all these bones belong to, I'm going to continue. And based on this, I'm going to have to figure out which environment. Here I have kind of an open field, a forest, and a coast. And based on that seagull, I'm going to guess that this owl probably lives along the coast and was hunting there. And that's correct. It is a short-eared owl, and it's going to give you some more information on that. You can play this again, do this with the other two owls, that's fine. Um, if you would really like to take it a step further, you can maybe ask your parents to order you an owl pellet. I promise they're not going to have any guts or blood in them. They're pretty clean-ish. They smell a little weird, but they're pretty sanitary. But I think you can just order them on Amazon if you want to, you know, do this for real. Maybe do something fun with your siblings. But I hope that was a good explanation of the owl pellet dissection. Hope it helps.